very special guest from Kansas City, the Kansas City Sports Woman of the Year. She's a midfielder for the Kansas City Current and the National Women's Soccer League. She's also, I mean, this is the Selly Queen, everybody. Everybody knows her for going viral and having this goal-scoring celebration that made its way into the NFL and has not lost any momentum. Uh, Lola Banta, welcome to the show. Hi. Hello. Thank you for having me. It's so, so nice to meet you. We just had Gronk on. I'm not trying to blow your spot because I'm sure you're a more of a Travis Kelsey gal, but you do have a little soft spot for Gronk. Oh, 100%. My dad, so my dad is from Boston, so I grew up Got it. loving the Patriots, and um, Gronk was just this big, goofy guy, and I had no idea how he could be <laughs> so good at football. Um, so, yeah, he was one of my favorite players. I mean, especially when... Pro athletes, you know, they just enjoy what they do and they're out there having fun. And that is what I try and do as an athlete now. So he was one of the first guys that was just enjoying his time out there. So I'm glad he talked about his Gronk spike. We're all about the sellies today. So yes. that, was, that was a great little segment. I mean, Gronk Spike has not gone away, and neither has your celebration that stole the show in your spot and then transcended into others. You went viral. This was last year with this celebration. When you see this, like, are you sick of talking about it already, Lo? Or do you love it? I love it because I love <laughs> how much joy people get out of it. If you know me and you're with me every single day, this is exactly who I am. I'm always dancing. I'm always trying to have fun. So every time someone brings it up, I love it. I just hate when they bring it up in front of my father. That is the brutal part. He <laughs> does not, he does not approve. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine a hard nosed New England, no BS guy uh, enjoying that commentary that's surrounded uh, around that. But I mean, has Hollywood come calling? Because the cell is almost too good. Were you, who knew that you were doing this? Are your teammates mad at you? Because I would be. I know they again, I always encourage them to come up with celebrations. So mm. I had warned only a couple people because, you know, I do the Got fake it. injury. So I had to warn my athletic trainer. I was like, yo, if I do this, don't <gasps> worry. Keep your spot. Maybe bring me some water. But no, nah, I had to warn her. But I think that that's why it went viral, you know, is the element of surprise. Yeah. Um, and I've yet to be able to top it with something, but I just, I love that the whole league now is celebrating. I don't want them to do it against us, but I love that people enjoy it and are just going out there and celebrating a goal. I mean, everyone loves it except the athletic trainers who think it's probably an absolute nightmare <laughs> and a migraine, oh, but I think it's really fun. <laughs> Listen, Gronk's doing these cameos in these movies, right? 80 for Brady. He just did some Good Burgers, a Nickelodeon spot. Like, we need to get low in Volter because his acting skills were chef's kissable, if I say so myself. Um, this m moment went so viral. I, I can't imagine what that's like. And it's still going and going. And for it to make its way into the NFL is pretty freaking incredible. Okay, so we had we had running backs like like Alexander Madison used you as info, which also the athletic trainers are like, I hate this low woman person. This is awful. The NFL <laughs> finds him sixty five hundred bucks for the celebration. That's like two thousand per twerk low. Bruh, it's I bet if he didn't go down to his knees, he'd be cleared. That. That was the next level commitment. And honestly, worth it. I think he went viral as well. And everybody had his back. Why are you finding this guy? We should have started a GoFundMe for him or something because he did not yeah. deserve that fine. That was quality right there. Uh, are you cooking up anything new, different? Like everybody's embracing the fun, but are you? is there anything we should be look, looking forward to or on the radar? I love that everybody on my team because I'm so small thinks that they can just lift me up so we're gonna probably do something like that to be honest I would love that I'm playing more of a defensive role this year so I don't get I don't Got get it. to shoot as much but I hope I score and we can do this little lift that one a couple of my teammates have planned and Alex Madison isn't the only NFL connection to you and your work and what you do and what you inspire so many people uh, around our country and even our world to do and get up and be a part of. Brittany Mahomes and her husband, Patrick, uh, they're co-owners of the Kansas City Current, where you are a midfielder and a injury faker. And Brittany Mahomes <laughs> has been such a huge 
force for the sport. I follow her on Instagram. That's how I see a lot of what you do, what you guys are doing. She broke ground on the world's first stadium built for a women's professional team. How important is that type of commitment from ownership when we're trying to grow the women's game? Yeah, it's unbelievable that so when we were first year, I've been with this team now for almost 10 years. And when we were first year, you know, we we didn't have anything. We didn't have the backing of the sport or I mean the city. So it was really hard playing here. And then when they brought us back and the owners were like, look at this, you know, teal rising, get them out there. We my husband's yeah. on the men's soccer team here. And I think more people recognize me and shout out me in the streets than him and we gotta we gotta keep him humble you know what I'm saying <laughs> so it's huge and actually speaking of Brittany she just messaged me and she was like you gotta get her to do the twerk selly she told me she said let her know you gotta do it so <laughs> don't let her down me? yeah <laughs> Brittany, honestly, I deserve that from Brittany because I, I like, I bother. I talk about Brittany off. I love her. I love what she does as a woman, as a confident force in supporting her husband's goals and also having her own and being so involved in the community, by the way. And I'm not twerking. I'm totally avoiding this. this is what, I'm a professional here, so I'm going to swing it into this. Also, she's not a Kansas City girly. Like, she's not from there. Do you know what I'm saying? And neither are you. You played in California. You're saying your dad grew up a New England fan. But there's something about Kansas City that sticks to people, that makes people like a Brittany Mahomes want to bring a franchise or be part of a franchise that makes Patrick want to build a Whataburger and invest in the city that they are living in and playing in that they didn't really have ties to before that. What is it about Kansas City? And talk to those fans who support you throughout the year. Yeah, 100%. I think everybody knows that I will forever claim California. I'm a Cali kid through and through, but... Like I said, I've been loyal to this team. I've been with this organization since the beginning. And we come back because of the fans and the city. They just love their sports teams. And that's 100% it. You know, it's not like we have beaches or mountains. We have the passion for our sports here. And that's that's what keeps me coming back for sure. You feel it, like I said, in the streets and that's what I love, you know, at the bars. I mean, it has nothing to do with the free shots that people are always buying me when I'm out. That, that has yeah. nothing to do with it. Nothing at all. But it's definitely like Mahomes just said the other day, you know, I don't need money. I'm good. I just want rings and stuff. Well, he also already owns this entire city. I think he has a stake in every professional team. But that's because they're buying into the love for the sports here. So Kudos to them, you know, let them know if they ever want to adopt yeah. me, I'm I'm up for grabs, you know, because I will gladly oh, poor, go poor to dad. that family. Listen, oh, no, he, listen your dad already has too. it. Your dad has it rough enough. Your dad has it rough enough with his New England squad chipping up to be what it is in that division. Like, let's <laughs> like, your poor dad, you can't leave him now. No, no, he's coming with us. I'm pretty sure their guest house has plenty of room. <laughs> Listen, Lo, I would love, we have to go, but I would love to have you on to talk a little bit about the World Cup uh, and sort of scene set for me. It's set to kick off July 20th. I need to know the best players. I need to know what's going on, who to look at, who's on the come up. So do you promise me, if you come back and if Brittany Mahomes makes an appearance on my show, I will twerk all day for you to set it. I'll do it. I'm quoting you. I'm sending her that right now. Done. <laughs> Done. We're doing it. I'll twerk. And, you know, FanDuel, you're just going to have to deal with it. And don't you dare try to find me, FanDuel. Don't you even think about it. I will twerk my little heart out. We appreciate you. Lo, we love you. Uh, love to your husband. And congrats on the award. All right, we got a big show. Last show of the week. Last show in New York tomorrow. Who's joining us? Leonard Fournette on the program. Oh, he was getting all the DMs from the teams. He'll be at, we're gonna find him a match tomorrow. That's what we will do. Xavier Woods, New Panther, former cowboy, also on the program. Do not miss it. I'll put on lipstick tomorrow.